Hi guys, Marguerite here. It's raining outside where I'm at and it doesn't usually rain so I was inside the house working on different kind of braids and I kind of created this really unique French braid that you could add ribbon to and it came out really cute and I I haven't seen anybody else do this and if I if it's out there I haven't seen it but um, it came out really cute and what you need or what I used was like two ribbons and of course I used uh, pink because I like pink and it came out cute. I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. Okay so the first thing you do is you get your ribbons ready and you're going to get a bobby pin that matches your hair color and you're going to have loop it through the bobby pin all the way at the end and then you're going to make tie a regular knot to hold it in place and you're going to use these later in the hairstyle so we'll get to that in a second but they look like this and you do both ribbons the same way I'm doing the second ribbon and I want to make sure that they are the ends are together so that it centers it okay so now I'm uh, parting the hair I'm parting it at the corner you could part it in the middle if you like I'm doing two French braids on each side so what I'm doing right here is I'm getting three sections to start off my French braid and I'm, if you notice I'm starting in the corner of one of the partings I mean of the single parting and so you just start it off as a regular French braid So when you do a French braid, you just gather every time you grab some more hair to the center and you loop it and then you grab some more hair for the center. So each time and then you do the twist, the braid, regular braid, then you grab more hair. But first I'm going to grab my bobby pin with that I showed you guys how to and then you just place it in the center. And then you want to pull this through this to the center. You want to move the other hair through to the sides and then use that as your third strand but in the center. And you just work it with your braid. The, the trick about this particular um, tutorial is I want you guys to know, uh, see how I'm adding hair to the to the rest of the hair in the center. But when I when I use when I go through the braid, I'm not adding hair. To the, to the braid. So every time the braid lands in the center of the French braid, I do not add hair because then you can't see the ribbon at all. So see, um, you just continue on and I'm adding more hair to the center every time there's hair in the center. There's hair in the center so I'm adding more hair. You just take your time And I am not adding more hair because the ribbon's in the center. And I work my braid and then uh, there's hair in the center again. So every time you see the, the, the ribbon in the middle, you do not add hair. And that way I find that the, uh, the ribbon shows up really nice in the French braid. If, as you can see, it's starting out really good. And I just work my way all the way. So I do not add hair right here and I just pretend like that step doesn't even happen and I grab more hair. So I just hope you guys could get the hang of this because it's just like a regular French braid but every time the ribbon is in the center you do not add hair. That's very important. But you add hair every time that the hair is in the center of the braid. As you can see, the um, the ribbon shows up really nice, and it's still um, acting like a French braid because it's it's totally connected to the to the scalp, uh, nice and tight. I 
I'm just eyeing um, the, the parts that I'm taking because I'm, I am skipping a step. Uh, you want to make sure that the slices of hair that you're gathering are not too much. Um, they might be a little bit more than usual because you are skipping that, that third step of collecting hair. So you just want to eye it and just take a little bit, as little bit as you can, but you still need to take more than usual. And so you want to um, you want to um, just continue on, and after you get to the where you want to stop, because I'm just doing um, half up uh, French braid, you want to secure that with a rubber band when you get to uh, the end of the French braid on the on one side, and you want to do the other side of the hair the same way on the other side exactly how I showed you on this side. And this is only um, a half up two French braids on the top of the head with ribbon. And I, you want to make sure that the ribbon is longer than the hair. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so right here I'm just concealing the rubber band and wrapping it around opposite directions and meeting it in the, in the center and going to do a simple bow tie at the very top of each um, braid. And you could adjust the, the size by pulling down on the stems of the bow tie. And it came out really cute on both sides. Right here, I'm just using a, this is why I wanted the ribbon longer or than the hair itself, than the ponytail hair, because you could just adjust the uh, size so it's a perfect fit for your hairstyle. If the ribbons are too short, you'll be worried about matching up the size of the length at the ends. So this way it, it comes out really perfect. And I'm cu cutting it at an angle for a little touch. You want to make sure you use um, school scissors or house scissors. If you use uh, uh, hair cutting scissors it will dull the blade so you want to make sure you use house scissors for, for that and oh this hairstyle came out extra cute I really love it and if you want it even cuter you could curl the back of the hair with a jumbo curling iron and I think that came out really pretty and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I hope you guys practice this style at home and, uh, and enjoy. Have a great day and please subscribe. Thank you so much.